Hello Internet! In this video we are going to be looking at one of the coolest looking new Pokemon introduced by the Crown Tundra. It is Galarian Moldrez. I'm going to take you through the ways I think it can be used in VGC and show you the spreads, the sets, the EVs, everything I put with it and pick out my favourite set at the end of this video as well. But we're going to start off with just an overview. We can see we've got a dark flying Pokemon which we have seen in VGC in the past with Pokemon like Mandibuzz, and Murkrow and Evoltal in restricted formats. We've got a very interesting ability in Berserk as well, which I think only Drampa has had in the past, where you get a plus one special attack when your HP gets to half or below. And we've got some really good stats to play around with down here as well. We can see that there isn't a relevant stat lower than 90, which is fantastic for Moltres. Okay, the 100 special attack is not the highest, but there are ways to increase the special attack. Obviously, with the ability Berserk, it jumps out straight away. We can in increase it that way. The base speed of 90, okay, you know, not the highest. Unfortunately, we are still slower than Landorus, but at the same time, Moltres doesn't get, you know, competitive or defiant or anything like that. So it's not like we're going to be threatening Landorus, you know, from turn one anyway. So not a big loss there, I don't think. And we have got some really good bulky stats here as well. We've got 90 in HP, 90 in defense, and 125 in the special defense as well. So we can see here that, you know, there are potentially different ways we can build this Moltres. We can go perhaps more of an offensive route. Base speed of 90 is still pretty good. You know, there's raised to increase the special attack as well. So yes, offensive. Or we can go more bulky. We can go more support oriented as well too. Let's have a look at the moves, because that will determine how we might want to use Moltres. So, these are the moves that I've picked out as being the more viable moves Moltres learns. And it does have some good offensive options, but they do tend to just be the, the stab attacks. So we've got Hurricane, we've got Air Slash. Okay, good flying moves, you know, if you want to go more accurate or, or more power, Hurricane Air, Air Slash there. We've got Fiery Wrath, a very good signature move here. Spread Dark Attack, which has got a flinch chance on both opponents. But we've got other moves in here as well. We've got Snarl, okay, can be used in a more um, defensive and more support way. We've got Foul Play, an often forgotten about move, which... It's fantastic. One of my favorite moves. I love foul play, which you know, it doesn't matter what your attack stats are because it uses your opponent's attack stat to hit them with. And we've got moves like Sucker Punch, which maybe you can activate one of your own weakness policies with, perhaps, or U-Turn can do the same thing with. The setup and support options are a bit limited with Moltres. We have got Nasty Plot, which is obviously a very, very good setup move. But, you know, maybe Substitute we can do something with. Taunt could perhaps be useful as well too. So, again, we're seeing that there are different ways that Moltres could potentially be used. But before I EV any Pokemon, I always think about the speed I want to hit with it. Now, I know we've got a, a base speed of 90, which is a little bit awkward. We are faster than generally the more middling Pokemon, but we're not faster than the faster Pokemon, if you see what I mean. So... These are the potential benchmarks that I've put for a base 90 Pokemon like Moltres. The first one I put is a, uh, a max speed, plus speed nature, base 70. So that's maybe a Jolly Metagross or a Timid Butterfree. Maybe you could go to Adamant Metagross levels if you're not worried about Butterfree, perhaps. Um, but the other benchmarks are all quite close to each other that I've put here. Now, again, we know we've got a base speed of 90, so it is impossible for Moltres to be faster than a jolly Landorus or a timid Tapu Lele or a jolly Urshifu but with a plus speed nature of our own with timid we can outspeed neutral of those so you know an adamant max speed Landorus we can outspeed with a timid nature and 164 EVs for example you can see there you know, we can go a little bit faster outspeed a modest Tapu Lele a little bit faster outspeed an adamant Urshifu and the highest benchmark I've put on there is Excadrill which could be relevant but for that, you need 244 and a plus speed nature. And at that point, you might as well just go max speed. You might as well just go 252 just so that at least you are speed time with um, other base 90 Pokemon such as other Moltres. So, okay, I've been going on about, you know, there's different ways potentially that we can use Moltres. Let's start to look at some of the sets that I've made. The first set that I'm going to show you, I've got two different variants of. It is the setup set that I've got here, which is... Very straightforward, um, dual stab, set up and protect. So we've got Hurricane, I've put over Air Slash because I think with this set you are going to be Dynamaxing more often than not. So uh, Hurricane, obviously more power there. Fiery Wrath, very good move. 
nasty plot to increase your, you know, not quite so impressive base special attack of 100 there, and protect, you know, very good move as well too, especially with the, a Pokemon weak to Fairy, which is probably going to be quite a, uh, quite a common typing in the metagame. This is the first set though. So the first spread I'm going to show you is with an Adrenaline Orb. So you can see here I've got 196 uh, speed EVs with a timid nature. This outspeeds modest max speed Tapu Lele. So I think that's a good benchmark to hit. Most of the sets that I'm going to show you I think hit that same benchmark. Um, there's not many reasons to go faster, um, and I think Tapu Lele, you know, will come around again. I think it, it's obviously going to be good to outspeed Modest. Uh, if it's Timid, we're not going to be taking as much damage from the Moonblast, especially since we've got quite a bit of investment here in bulk. We've got a lot of HP investment, some defense, special defense, and a bit of special attack investment as well there too. Now, we have gone quite bulky so that we can have more opportunities to set up a nasty plot, and I have hit that 134 special attack benchmark because it gets a good calculation on Metagross. I will show you in a moment as well too. But, with the Adrenaline Orb, if you lead into something like a Landorus, you will instantly be faster, and with a speed boost, you could potentially, with a partner like Amoongus, like this fast Amoongus, go straight for Airstreams. Now, Okay, Faster Moongus, I have been a bit critical of Faster Moongus in the, in the past, but with uh, one Airstream boost, this Moongus will be faster than lots of those middling things, and you will be able to start sporing things and putting them to sleep, which is very annoying. But, okay, you know, you're saying, Barry, you know, lots of Pokemon have got fast Airstreams. Yes, you know, Moongus can do that with lots of other Pokemon, but one thing Moongus has got for Moltres as well is Pollen Puff. Now, we know that Moltres has got the Berserk ability. If you go below 50% HP, you get a plus one to your special attack. Well, if you get a Berserk boost, Amoongus has got the option, perhaps, to Pollen Puff you back above 50%, so that perhaps, you know, it's good to be healthier, but perhaps you can activate the Berserk again, you know, in a few turns time, perhaps if you get hit by some more moves. So Amoongus, I think, is a pretty good partner for Moltres. And also, obviously, there's, there's a combination of Rage Powder and Nasty Plot. You know, it is just a redirect Pokemon at the end of the day as well. You can go for Rage Powder, Nasty Plot, a little bit safer. So Amoongus, I think, is a pretty good partner here. Let's have a look at a few of those calculations, though, for this spread. Uh, we can see a, an Adamant Max Attack Landorus' Rock Slide shouldn't to hit KO you. We can see Life Orb, Dragapult's Max Wormwind on this. We survive quite handily, so, you know, the bulk in this is actually doing some business. And here's an important calculation as well. We can see a modest Max Special Attack Tapu Lele Moonblast. We survive, you know, reasonably well as well. And here's the calculation, confirmation that I was on about with that Metagross calculation here at the bottom. Um, a Fiery Wrath into quite a bulky, you know, a, a Max HP Metagross is essentially a two-hit KO on it, which means with a nasty plot up, it will be a one-shot on it. And because that's a spread move, you know, it doesn't matter about redirection, you know, that's pretty nice to have, I think. So that's the first option, the Adrenaline Orb option. The second option for this setup set that I'm going to show you is a Weakness Policy set. Now, okay, the spread here is a little bit different. To compensate for the lack of the Adrenaline Orb, I have actually gone Timid Max Speed here just to have that bit extra speed, obviously. Um, same special attack benchmark as well for that same calculation on Metagross, and the rest of the EVs I've put as sensibly as I could do into HP and Defense. Now, okay, having Weakness Policy and Nasty Plot on the same set is maybe a little bit overkill. You could, as a potential option, have, you know, a, a 31 IV in attack. You could have Sucker Punch over that to catch some people off guard as well too, you know, because a plus two Sucker Punch with Stab is still going to do a decent amount of damage. And to activate your weakness policy, yes, there's lots of options like, you know, Quick Attack Sylveon and, you know, basic things like that, Ice Shard things. But I think the best partner for this type of Moltres would be a Comfy. Now, we saw in Season 6, when people were forced to be a bit more creative, we saw just how good Comfy was as a support Pokemon, activating um, weakness policies, activating the um, the, the Sap Sipper, perhaps, <laughs> on some Pokemon, and, um, and you yeah, know, various different things like that. But we saw it being uh, so useful because with the Triage ability, you get a plus 3 priority to your healing moves. So you can go for a Draining Kiss before an Incineroar's Fake Out, for example. You can go for a Floral Healing before an Incineroar's Fake Out. You can go for these moves um, before an opponent's Togekiss or an, an opponent's 
Um, Amoongus goes to their redirection moves as well too, so it is a fantastic support option Confei. And um, yes, okay, you know, again, there's options, you can activate the weakness policy with various other Pokemon, but just like the Amoongus, Confei has got a way to heal back Moltres as well. One thing I haven't mentioned is Moltres really does miss an option to recover its HP. It would do really well with Roost or recover on it. So um, having a partner that can heal back HP is really, really, really good as well too. So the floral healing here, the Pollen Puff with the Moongus, really good options for partners for the Moltres, but I really like this to set up the weakness policy with a Draining Kiss. Uh, get a plus two there and potentially um, heal it back, you know, maybe after it's got a Berserk boost as well too, so then you'll be a plus three and heal it back with the Floral Healing there too. So I really like that. Just a few calculations though. This is a little bit less bulky than the first spread that I showed you. So, uh, again, that same rock slide has got a bit of a higher chance to two hit KO you. We do still survive the Life Orb Max Wormwind from Dragapult there. Um, the Modest Moonblast from Tapu Lele, we do survive, but only just there. And there, again, is that calculation on the Metagross. So, max, max HP Metagross, uh, plus two Fiery Wrath should get it, which is brilliant, or just a two hit KO otherwise. So... Okay, the setup set, nice and simple, two attacks, nasty plot, protect, really, really, really simple there. The next set I'm going to show you is very different. It is, I'm calling it a support set, but it is a very, very bulky set. It is Foul Play, Fiery Wrath, Air Slash, and Snarl, and I'm sure you can guess what item I'm putting with it at this point, but we did see Pokemon like Evoltal in the past, especially with an Assault Vest, um, be really annoying to deal with, you know, very, very, very bulky. They would sit there clicking Snarl and Foul Play and knock off most of the time. We've got Foul Play here, we've got Snarl here. We are very, very, very bulky with this Assault Vest as well too. So you can see the EVs, again, are a little bit different. The speed I've put back to the um, the baseline of outspeeding modest max speed Tapu Lele, which is quite important here because, you know, against the Tapu Lele, it'd be nice to get the Snarl off first, so I think that is quite significant. And the rest of it is essentially in bulk. We don't need special attack with this because I imagine with a set like this, um, you're going to be outputting damage consistently with foul play more than anything else. Foul play is a fantastic move. It is one of my favorite moves. You know, obviously it does damage based on your opponent's attack stat. So it doesn't matter if Moltres has been intimidated or snarled or whatever itself. Foul play does very good damage. And, you know, incidentally, um, the other two sets that needed a setup, either from a nasty plot or a weakness policy activation, to threaten something like a Landorus. You know, they needed that setup to threaten a Landorus um, with foul play. This Moltres instantly threatens a Landorus. You know, it went one shot with Foul Play, but it will still do a lot of damage. So really, really, really good options there. The um, Snarl, obviously, reducing Special Attack is really good for support for your partners as well. Fiery Wrath and Air Slash I've put on here. Air Slash over Hurricane because I don't think you will Dynamax this one very often. The Flinch Chance is nice there, and with Fiery Wrath as well too. But... Um, even with the um, you know the the minimal special attack investment here, with one berserk boost, you will reach a special attack stat of what 181, which is very very high still. So um, you know even if foul play, you know if you're against a special attacker or whatever, it's not doesn't do too much damage. If you've got berserk boost, fire wrath, air slash, they are there for options to be used offensively as well too. So I I actually really like this spread. I think it's pretty cool. Um, I especially like the spread having <laughs> having seen some of these calculations that I've done. Here they are. Now, this one surprised me. I mean, we saw on the first slide, didn't we, that, um, you know, it's very bulky. It's got a really high special defense. But here is a Life Orb, Tapu Koko, Max Lightning in Electric Terrain against our Assault Vest Moltres here. And we survive. That is insane bulk. That is a super effective stab with Life Orb with Terrain Boost. <laughs> and, and we survive it. That's mad, isn't it? So... And that just goes to show you how bulky this Moltres is. We can see the, um, again, the modest max special attack Tapu Lele. The Moonblast does 50 to 59%, but again, remember, we are faster than modest Tapu Lele, so we should get the Snarl off first. That'll reduce Moonblast down to, you know, even about 35, 40%. You know, not a lot really for a super effective, powerful move otherwise. Uh, if it's a timid Tapu Lele, then yes, I'll go first, but Moonblast will be, you know, about 
between 40 and 50 percent to us so you know shouldn't be a two at KO there um, same calculations before with the Landorus Rock Slide, a 2 at KO quite comfortably. And I thought I'd put a physical electric move on there as well, just to see, you know, how much damage, you know, roughly would be taking from th something like a, uh, a max attack Thunderous's Wild Charge, you know, without a Defined Boost there, obviously. And we take that reasonably well too. So this Moltres is very, very bulky. And with Snarl, with Foul Play, you will be outputting consistent damage and consistent disruption with Snarl as well too. So uh, I really, really like this Assault Vest set. You know, first impression was, yeah, we can go and, and nasty plot up and stuff, but actually as a mini of Ultol, in a way, I think it can work very, very well. So we've seen this Assault Vest, this support, is very, very bulky set. We've seen the setup set as well too. I have got one more set that I'm going to show you here, and it is a bit of a, a cheeky set, but I will explain all in just a moment. It is, well, I'm, I'm calling this a bulky set as well, too. It's not ultra bulky like last one, but this is a pretty bulky set with Fiery Wrath, Air Slash, Substitute, and Protect. Now, Substitute is an often forgotten about move in uh, in VGC. I think it's still a very good move. Air Slash over here, again, over Hurricane, because with this set, especially with Substitute, I don't think you're going to be Dynamaxing it very often, but let's have a look what I've done with it. I have put Leftovers on here, which isn't an item that you often see in VGC, but I think this could be good. And again, I was mentioning before that Moltres does lack ways to recover its own HP, unfortunately, uh, you know, because that would work very well with its Berserk ability. But with Leftovers and with Substitute, we've got some quite nice combinations going on here. EVs, I'll just mention these briefly. Uh, again, I've gone with the same speed benchmark, just outspeeding modest um, Tapu Lele so that we can, you know, we can get a Substitute up, do whatever before it Moonblasts us. And the rest is essentially put in bulk again, you know, 12 in special attack, a little bit there, but the rest is pretty much in bulk. Um, you know, a bit more in special bulk here as well too, just because, you know, with a lack of the assault vest, you know, it is good, I think, to, to just, you'll see on the calculations on the next page, just have a bit more, a bit more special bulk on there. But the idea is, with substitute, um, I have got a HP number there that is not divisible by four, so we can get four substitutes. And actually with the leftovers item as well, uh, I've got a HP number there that is just above a multiple of 16. So we'll be getting you know more of our leftovers recovery than, uh, than otherwise. But the idea is we can substitute up to pot ourselves potentially below 50%, get a Berserk boost, and then not only do we get a plus one special attack, but we are protected by a nice substitute as well too, which is fantastic, you know, what a good position to be in. You know, plus one behind a substitute, that's brilliant. And not only that, but we've got uh, Fiery Wrath, which has got flinch chances, we've got Air Slash, which has got a very good flinch chance as well too, you know, coupled with substitute potential to substitute multiple times, to protect multiple times as well. With the leftovers, there is options here that this Moltres can, you know, really stall Pokemon out, potentially, in a way, you know, because <laughs> they might flinch, you know, they not, might not be attacking. You can protect, get more leftovers, substitute, get more leftovers recovery. Um, it's a really, really, you know, nifty Pokemon, this, I think. It's interesting to see. Um, it'd be interesting to see if people actually do use this substitute set. But I think if substitute is going to be used on any Pokemon, um, it actually could be used on this Moltres because yeah, it's a, a pretty reliable way to activate your own Berserk ability and to be sat behind the substitute a plus one, really nice. And you know, if you can flinch your opponents, that means an extra turn of leftovers <laughs> recovery. It's brilliant, isn't it? But a few calculations for this one as well. Uh, unfortunately, since we haven't got the Assault Vest here, we can't quite take a, uh, a Max Lightning from a Tapu Koko in terrain with a Life Orb, but uh, we can take a Thunderbolt from a Life Orb Tapu Koko in terrain, which is actually quite surprising. I mean, this is a very bulky Pokemon. This isn't the Assault Vest of this one, is it? And, uh, you know, chances are we will survive the Thunderbolt there, which, very good. Uh, we can see the same Moonblast calculation from the Tapu Lele. Um, Again, though, you know, if um, you know, if, if we do want to substitute, if they are modest, you know, we can substitute um, on them to, uh, you know, try and store things out if we have to and get into a better position with our partner. But uh, if we have to take a Moonblast, um, it we survive it quite quite happily. Uh, again, the same Landorus Rock Slide calculation where you know we shouldn't be too carried by it, and again the same Thunderous calculation with Wild Charge at the bottom there as well too. Again, we should take that quite comfortably. So, okay, you know, for a Pokemon that looks really cool, you know, it's got somewhat of a, a limited-ish moveset. Um, I think I have shown, you know, quite a few of the, the different ways potentially that we can use Moltres, a few really cool ways actually. The first set, 
I'll just quickly go through them. The first set we had uh, the Adrenaline Orb, so we can get a speed boost and you know compensate for the, the speed of 90. Nasty plot to compensate for the uh, the special attack of 100. You know potentially really good with Amoongus there to redirect and nasty plot and spore things. The second set with Weakness Policy, again a little bit faster but still very bulky and partnered with Comfy. I think that could be very very good too. We have next we had the. Uh, support set, the Assault Vest set, which has Foul Play and Snarl as its main offensive options, but again with the Berserk ability, you know, Fiery Wrath, Air Slash could become a threat as well too. So uh, I, I do like this set actually. And the fourth one that I showed you is um, the Bulky set with Substitute and Protect with Leftover, so you can potentially stall opponents out and frustrate them with these flinching moves. But if I was going to pick one, my favourite set out of all of these Moltres sets would be this weakness policy set now i do really like this you know especially with the comfy uh, maybe yes you could say like i think i was mentioning you could say it's a little bit overkill having both weakness policy and nasty plot on the same set it does give you two different options to boost a special attack which is nice because you know without a boost Moltres it isn't going to be doing too much damage so you know you do kind of want to get a boost one of these ways um, but if you didn't want to put nasty plot there like I was saying you could actually put sucker punch on there since you will still get a plus two um, attack with the uh, weakness policy activation as well and the comfy there being able to go for the draining kiss and floral healing uh, around redirection, around you know slower fake outs, that's fantastic. And again, yes, we've got the berserk ability. If we go below 50%, we get a berserk. And with floral healing, we can put ourselves back above again. If you really want to, if you really want to be cheeky, you could drain and kiss yourself again, even after a weakness policy has been activated, to put yourself below. <laughs> below half and get another Berserk. So um, I think these two, uh, Moltres and Comfy, are actually going to be really, really good partners. I like this set a lot, actually. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope you've learned something. I hope you've got something from this video. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye for now.